this video is for um, problems two through four. So number two says, find the equation in standard form and graph. I do notice that I have x squared and y squared, which means I may have the graph of a circle here. So let's rearrange this so that we can have all of our x terms together. Then all of our y terms, I'm gonna leave a, ga a gap here. I don't even wanna write that just yet because I'm not ready. Um, positive three y squared, positive 12 y. Leave some space and put the positive 33. This number, we usually like to have it on the other side just so that it's out of the way. So before I finish completing the square here, I'm gonna move that over to make it a minus three. I have the minus 33 on both sides to move it over. Here though, before I can complete the square, I actually have to factor out that three. Once that three is factored out, then I can figure out what needs to be added here to complete the square. Same thing here, I have to factor out whatever is coefficient in front of that square, I have to factor it out. It just so happens it goes into that term evenly. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what I've gotta add here. Now, let's see what we do. So in order to figure out how to complete the square, you gotta take b over two and square it. So if I take negative eight over two and I square that, I get negative four squared, which is positive 16. So I should be adding 16 and then subtracting 16 so that I don't change the value of the original um, equation. Then over here, my b value is four, so I would take four over two squared, which gives me positive two squared, which gives me four. So to complete the square here, I would have to add four and then take away four so I don't change the value there. Now, I only need this part in order to complete the square, right? You just need those three terms in order to factor. So I wanna kick this guy out of the parentheses, but the only way to get rid of the parentheses for him is to distribute that three to him. So what I end up having is, I end up having a negative 48 here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over the other side. I only need the plus four inside to complete the square. The minus four needs to get distributed with that positive three, which gives me a negative 12. And then what I can do is I can add 48 on both sides and then I can add 12 on both sides so that these are not in the way on the left-hand side at all. And I can factor this into x minus four times x minus four. This one I can factor into y plus two times y plus two. And now on the right-hand side, I have um, 27. Then I can write this in its um, squared form And normally when you have the equation of a circle, you do not have a coefficient in front of those parentheses. So I'm going to need to divide each term by three in order to get rid of these coefficients in the front. So I end up with x minus four squared plus y plus two squared and nine. I can also rewrite that as y plus two squared equal to three squared. Why do I want it in that form? Um, so it says find the equation in standard form, which I've done, and then it wants me to graph the equation. So in order for me to graph it, I need to remember that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. The radius is r, and the center of that circle is hk. Notice that it's negative here, but positive there negative here but positive there. So it's the opposite sign when you're picking out the center. So this will actually be a positive four and this will actually be a negative two for my center. For my radius, since nine is three squared, my radius is that base three. And so then I should be able to graph this. If I go one, two, three, four, 
and then I go one, two units down. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and down two would put my center here. And if I want to draw the circle, my radius is three, I'm just going to go three up, three down, three to the left, three to the right, and then make it look like a circle. Hopefully, I'm an artist, so bear with me when I try to make this look like a circle. So going up one, two, three units, going to the right, one, two, three units, to the left, one, two, three units, and downward, one, two, three units. And so I'm going to try to make that look nice. Again, I'm not the best artist here. So whenever I try to draw circles, they never look right. They always look like a flat kickball or something. Um, but you get the idea. And for your test, you'll most likely have um, choices so the choices will actually look like circles, right? They won't look so flat like my drawing. Um, they'll actually look nice and round. Okay, but that's it for the most part. So it's a circle with a radius of three and the center happens to be in this fourth quadrant over here. Now for number three, it says find the domain and write in set builder notation. Now, two things about this problem. One is it's a fraction and we know that with fractions the denominator cannot equal zero. The second thing we have is a radical and we know that when we have radicals the radicand has to be greater than or equal to zero. If you're not sure what a radicand is it's what's inside the radical. Okay so I have two problems here though. Because if you notice, my radicand is, my radical is in the denominator. So, um, really, if I put these two bits of information together, for this particular problem, I'm basically trying to find where my radicand is greater than zero. Because it cannot equal zero. Because it's in the denominator, it cannot equal zero. So it has to be strictly greater than zero. So if I take my radicand 2x minus 3 and set it greater than equal to zero, greater than zero, and I add 3 to both sides, I will get 2x is greater than 3. If I divide both sides by 2, I get that x has to be greater than 3 halves. And I want to write this domain in my set builder notation, so I'm just going to write a braces x as long as x is greater than 3 halves. And this is all they wanted. Now, number four says find the domain and write in that builder notation. What do we know about logarithms? We know that bases of logarithms and arguments of logarithms can never be negative. Okay? The three is just a number and it's obviously not a negative three. So this base is okay. I don't need to worry about the base when I'm talking about domain here. The argument though could possibly be a negative number. So we need to make sure that that argument is a positive number. How do we represent positive in symbols? It has to be greater than zero, not equal to zero. The arguments of logarithms cannot be zero. They have to be a number positive number, which means they have to be strictly greater than zero. Now I can try to factor this. If I factor out the negative one for this, I get x squared plus 3x minus 4, negative 1. I get x um, plus 4 and x minus 1. And so then if I set each factor with a variable in it, equal to 4, it will help me to come up with numbers to use on my number line for my possible interval solutions, okay? And it actually wants set builder notation, so we're going to have to get a little clever there with that. We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, let me actually verify that it says set builder and it doesn't say um, interval. No, it says set builder. So we've got to go with that. 
Now, for this one, if you notice that your choices don't have fractions and they have decimals instead, then just modify your answer. 3 halves is the same as 1.5. And so use that instead of the fraction. If you notice in your multiple choices, that yours doesn't match exactly as it should, but it is still equivalent to one of those answers. Okay, so for here I have two numbers that I'm going to put on my number line. I have negative 4 and I have 1. Now that creates three different intervals and I need to figure out which of these intervals are solutions. So um, let's go ahead and test each interval. So in this interval I'm going to pick a number to the left like negative 5. In between a negative and a positive it's always nice to pick 0. And then a number bigger than 1 I'll go ahead and just pick 2. And I can plug them in to the factored version of my equation of my inequality so I can plug them into this one which will help me determine whether it's greater than zero whether it's positive or not so I have a negative one which is obviously a negative number here if I plug in negative five there I'm gonna get negative one if I plug in negative five there I'm gonna get negative six if I multiply all this out I get negative six question is is negative 6 greater than 0? It is not greater than 0. So this interval is not going to be part of my solution. Now let's plug in 0. So we get negative 1. 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. When I multiply this all out, I get 4. Is 4 greater than 0? It is greater than 0 which means that in between here this interval is part of my solution okay now let's go test the next interval 2 so there's my negative 1 2 plus 4 is 6 2 minus 1 is 1 and if I multiply that out I get negative 6 and we've already determined that negative 6 is not greater than 0 so the only interval that works is this one but in order for me to put this in set builder notation, I need to know what kind of ends this has. Because it is an inequality without the equal bar, this should have open dots or open circles or parentheses, however you're used to doing that in your class. I know some instructors are different. Some of them use a parentheses, some of them use open dots. It's the same. Okay. However, they want the answer in set notation, which means how do I turn this into an inequality? The inequality I'm looking for is negative 4 less than x less than 1. x needs to be in the middle. These need to be less than, both of them. Okay, and what it really means is that the x values are between negative 4 and 1. And since there's no bar here, there should be no bar there. Now, if on the exam there is an equal bar here, then guess what? There should be an equal bar there. Okay, so be sure that you're consistent. And to make this builder notation, we just put the extra variable in there, and now we have the domain. So this is the domain of this logarithmic function in set builder notation.